The last few years I've noticed a trend, and maybe you have too, these articles in newspapers and in the internet that talk about ways to survive Christmas, as if Christmas were some kind of arduous ordeal or some extreme endurance event. And, you know, to me that's always seemed a little bit extreme, given the rest of things that are going on in the world. On the other hand, sometimes you get it coming from the other side too, with people wanting to wrap you up in jingle bells and put a crazy Christmas sweater on you and uh, all this forced merry and maybe that's not where you're at either. So what if you, your Christmas was not uh, miserable, but not merry either? I'd like to propose a third option, which is that you could aspire to an adequate Christmas. An adequate Christmas would have you calm and open, taking it in, accepting whatever is. Maybe there are three things that could help you have an adequate Christmas. The first is notice those behaviors which you tend to do when you're wound up too tight. Could be overeating, could be drinking too much, could be picking fights with family members. Just pick one behavior that you know you've got in you and uh, see what happens. See, see what you're doing around that behavior. The second thing is uh, nobody can read your mind, right? So if you've got particular hopes or expectations around the holiday season, say those things out loud. Say, I'd like to do this, I'd like to go there, or I really don't want to do this. Say them out loud, and then you can negotiate and figure out what you're going to do. I got that tip from Carrie Conti, who's a friend who works with families. The third thing is, and this is a wild idea, but consider these holidays a religious time, a sacred time, when perhaps your attention might turn toward tradition, toward spiritual practice, toward encountering God and welcoming God in a way you haven't before. Those are my three thoughts for how you might have an adequate Christmas. Good luck.